Hey guys, uh, sorry for the big time delay in videos and such. Uh, the reasoning behind it all is I, I don't feel like I had anything to really update. I, uh, last video was probably a couple months ago, I think one of the commenters said it, it's been a while. And uh, there's there's reasoning behind it, and that's just because I felt like I've I haven't really made any progress, and I was uh, wasn't feeling real good about how everything was turning out and how I was feeling, and and kind of just deflated and de uh, unimpressed with uh, the outcome that the balloon has had as of this point so weight wise I'm still about the same guys I'm, I'm still probably rocking at about 300 pounds uh, so down from the 330 I originally started at but I mean 30 pounds five months in a, in a, in a week here it'll be five months and then I don't feel like that's very good progress. I can't say that that uh, my nutrition nutrition has been awesome. I've, I've tried, done my best, obviously, but for what I thought the balloon would accomplish and do, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. Like the first couple weeks, that first month, getting used to it, having it in there, feeling it. I mean, you're you're puking after every meal. You're not feeling good. You're not wanting to eat because it sucks to eat. And because you're just throwing up every time you do anyways. So you're not eating and that's why you're losing the weight. Is because you're just, you're not able to keep anything down. And so the struggle for me was calories. You know, being able to still function at work. Being able to still function as a parent. Uh, you know, being able to be pleasant to be around when I was cranky because I didn't have any calories and I, I was hungry and you know I couldn't keep anything down you know waking up in the middle of the night to go puke you know is, is never a fun thing and and still to this day I'll wake up in the middle of the night and have to go puke sometimes and that's that's mostly mostly from the nausea that I still have and I, I hope that after I get this out next month that I do not have the nausea and heartburn that have accompanied this for the last five months. Because I didn't have any of that before. I didn't have heartburn. I didn't have nausea like that. I wasn't, you know, constantly feeling like my stomach was mad, you know. And... uh so I'd mentioned in in one of my first videos that my my girlfriend was also going to do the surgery and she she got the sleeve the the gastric sleeve and she's had it for about 2 months now and she's down about 40 45 pounds and it's really impressive because you can definitely see the weight change with her and you know it's uh you can you can definitely see how it affects her eating you know she'll take two bites of something and she'll be done I mean she can physically not eat anymore and I think that's something with the balloon that doesn't work because I, I, I think that the balloon is reactionary like oh I, I could eat three pieces of pizza but in 15 minutes I'm gonna be puking it up I'm not None of it's going to keep down, you know, whereas with the with the sleeve what my girlfriend has, she's barely, she can't even get it to that point, you know, she can't get to the point of being over full basically, because just taking those few bites is too much, you know, and, and of course she's had her struggles being able to just eat the few times that she's supposed to eat and eat as much as she's supposed to eat and uh you know 
obviously if you're not intaking calories you're going to lose weight right because you're still doing your normal activities and you're still burning calories but you're not intaking those same calories so uh my overall consensus guys with the balloon is in order for the balloon to work in order for it to do what you want it to do you're going to have to do as much as someone without a balloon honestly because the first couple months the first month and a half is is going to be sucky it's going to be shit you're going to feel like crap you're not going to be able to eat and that's from the tubes being in your throat and something weird being in your stomach and you know getting used to the whole situation and and all that you know as soon as it starts feeling comfortable though as soon as you start kind of getting back into your routine two two and a half months in you know you feel like you can eat a little more and then you eat a little more and then you know you're you're able to eat again you know, I, I I could go and eat a whole pizza right now if I wanted to. Eat a whole pizza, no nausea, nothing. No stomach ache, nothing like that. That doesn't make sense to me. I have a, I have a freaking balloon in my stomach. How is it that I'm still able to eat all this food and it not affect me? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. I mean... I don't know. It just kind of makes me mad that I, I spent this money to, to have something kind of help me control the intake and it's not controlling the intake. I know I have to do my part, but it it's hard to do that when the other side of it's not doing what it should be doing, I guess.